If you're a horn player, you may have believed that recording in your home was limited only to your keyboard player and guitar player friends. Well, it's actually easier now than ever. There are so many tools available, and it's incredibly high quality at relatively low cost. And it's absolutely scalable, where you don't need to start off with everything. You can start small and gradually build bigger and bigger as your projects necessitate. It's very plug and play. Basically plug the microphone into your interface, interface to the computer, and you're off and running. Uh, in, in less than about five to eight minutes, you can be performing and recording a track that maybe came from a friend acro across uh, the country. Uh, very easy to do, uh, it doesn't take a lot of time. There are five basic things you need to get started doing some home recording if you're a horn player. Uh, starting out at the beginning of the process is a microphone. To get started, just about anything will do uh, for you to produce your track, uh, and I would encourage you to have a boom stand that will get the microphone be able to be adjusted to your height, and a, a microphone cable that's long enough so that you can position the microphone somewhere where it's comfortable to play. Once you have your microphone set up, that microphone is then going to be plugged into uh, our interface here. And there's a wide range of, of interfaces uh, from multiple different price points. Uh, the one thing about your interface is you want to make sure that it does have a mix channel yep. so that you can actually yep. hear the playback from the computer, uh, but also hear what you're playing as you're recording. And that's going to help you stay in time, uh, keep better intonation. The next step in the process is the software that will take the audio and convert it into the computer. Uh, the great thing about a number of the introductory products uh, that might even be free is those are scalable so that you can get to the paid versions that will just have more functionality. So getting your feet wet with recording software is actually incredibly easy. Uh, and the last step in the process, you want to have some kind of headphones so that you can hear your recording back or studio monitors or so you can monitor what you're playing. Um, one other note about the headphones, uh, certainly player preference when it comes to what type of headphone, uh, but myself being a saxophone player and, and being in many recording situations, having uh, a type of headphone that fits over the ear uh, is going to be very comfortable for these types of situations. Uh, you're probably going to hear a little better playback than you might hear with earbuds or in-ears, uh, and it won't feel as stiff uh, in the recording environment. So if you're a horn player, you can see that getting involved in home recording really has never been easier. Right, and a lot of the gear that we talked about today is, is readily available and fairly inexpensive. Yeah, for sure. You don't need to have thousands and thousands of dollars worth of recording right, equipment right. to be making high quality home recordings. And really that's what it all comes down to, making music with your friends, collaborating with your colleagues, asking your saxophone buddy to come over and play on the tune you're working on. That's what makes music you know, a, a great thing, sharing the music, uh, working together and experiencing that. So uh, again, if you're a horn player, this is the perfect time to start getting out there and doing some home recording. <laughs>